What's this, Chris? Delivery. Looks heavy and quite expensive. So, it is. <laughs> Hopefully this box contains the uh, components to make the Land Rover have yeah. far more suitable gearing. Right. Well, I don't know where Chris uh, left off. I think Chris um, better do an update here. It says here, well, it's now starting to strip down. So first thing it says is to uh, clean the transfer of case off. So Check. Check. Uh, remove the handbrake. Done. Wheel speed sensor. Done. Fuck it, let's just undo all the bobs. Yeah. That's a standard Land Rover input gear and that there is the piece of steel that's been machined for a ZF output um, on the box but obviously we're going to be changing this gear for one of the ones in those boxes um, so this is going to need redoing so that luckily that bit actually you can just drop in afterwards um, so that can go off and get posted off now um, meanwhile we can rebuild the rest of the uh, transfer box um, and then just slot this back in afterwards right so we've just uh, removed those securing bolts on that front plate now or bottom plate Gonna drop that off to reveal the uh, gear set inside. There we go. You can see the inner workings of the uh, transfer box. This will want cleaning up. Obviously, that will, we've bought a re. Uh, Chris has bought like a real, a proper rebuild kit. So it's got all the seals and gaskets and bearings and all the rest of it to go in, into that one again. Okay, we've just knocked out this uh, intermediate shaft from the centre of the transfer box. So now we should be able to remove these centre gears. I've already removed the two um, bearing out the side of it. So they should just drop out. Some nice big gears. Uh, those races will be driving out later um, to put some new bearing races in. But for the time being, we'll just put this to one side. Chris is just uh, getting the pot ready there. It's quite heavy. Now. <laughs> now I've just cleaned up this Base. Obviously, once this is completely stripped, um, we'll go. We'll clean everything completely. We know. So it's all first. Right. So we've undone the eight bolts undoing that housing. Pulled her off. Um, it's just a stub that goes in there. Um, now we're going to spin around, do the same on the other side, and extract that bugger. You can just see the diff hiding away there. Right. So this is the uh, front hub of the uh, transfer box. Slightly different, it's got a longer shaft on it. See the speedo drive in there. Is that one off? You can see now the uh, diff is out. Diff is out. I see the, with selector the uh, in there. selectors. So that's the selector arm. Uh, we'll actually have to replace one of the gears on that. That one. Actually get the uh, visible high low. So we'll have to extract this bearing, change that. <laughs> Just um, cleaning up some of the making surfaces. That's the uh, cover on the right there, then you've got the high-low selector housing and the front casing ready to go back on. Um, the main outer shell is outside there as you can see, ready to uh, have a good clean off and uh, go back together again with the new parts. Right, uh, we've got the main casing here now, so we're just cleaning this one up. Uh, we've got some bearing races to change, uh, some O-rings on this intermediate shaft here. Chris is just getting the old uh, gasket material off the PTO cover, I think, area, yes. Um, so we're just going to get this cleaned up, and then it's sort of time to start putting it back together again. Right, we've got the output shaft with the diff on it now in the bit in the uh, in the vice here. Um, so this is the sort of the drive from the transfer box. This is obviously the cog that we need to change. Um, so we're going to take this slip nut off the end here. We've got then pull that bearing off. Um, we've got new bearings. We then be able to pull that cog off, replace it with the one we want, um, and then we put it all back together again. 
Um, you can see obviously the selector ring is there, so that's engaged and slides back and obviously that's where your selector arm goes from your lever inside. And this is the magical girl that's going on. Brand new. Brand new. Okay, we've just pressed on the new bearing now. So this is as it's going to be. It's important to note when you do this, you've got to have a little bit of clearance here so that obviously these can rotate independently of each other. Obviously if you put it on too tight, um, everything will just lock up. So we've got a, what size feeler is that? This is a 0.1 mil. Right. And we've just got a, a snug fit on that feeler gauge. Just sort of tight-ish. But you can feel once you get the feeler gauge out, you've just got a little bit of movement to enable you to uh, move that shifter around. Right, so we've just driven the race now. This is out of the housing, which is where those bearings seat. So we're gonna drive new races in to match the new bearings. Um, and then we can drop that back in. Right, we're um, sticking some sealant on the uh, girl now, starting to put her back together. Uh, we got the uh, diff and the drive, well, bottom drive in. So we're just gonna stick some sealant on there. And then put the back hub on and seal up and chuck the front hub on and then we weigh. Right, one housing is back. Um, we haven't gone to too much effort cleaning the outside of the casings. We've just made sure we've cleaned up all the uh, all the mating surface as well. Um, and obviously the inside, so really clean the inside out so the oil gets a nice clean, clean flush. Um, so now we'll put the other housing on the front here and then the uh, gears and stuff back in the center. Right, got the unit back on the floor now. Um, these are the intermediate gears that are going to go in the centre of the transfer box. These are obviously new as well, um, one solid lump. Uh, we need to fit circlips in to hold the bearing races in and we then need to press in the inner bearing races. Um, those bearings then sit on this intermediate shaft which we've um, fitted a new o-ring to and also the o-ring in the end of the casing. Right, there we go, the intermediate gears are back in now. Um, you can see the new ones there in the center, and the new one on the diff, and it's all spinning freely. Um, so now we're gonna put, reseal this top cap on, put the uh, high-low selector housing on, and then that's all we can do really until we've had the input shaft remachined. Right, there we go, it's all back together again. Uh, just that input gear to put in there. So that's basically a case of just sliding it in that top hole bolting up the PTO cover again and then, well no, putting it on the Land Rover and then uh, bolting up those, those covers again and then it's finished.